Okay, Beamer and Sun Garage here. This is my 1969 Cadillac in the snow. Yep, yep, yep. I figure if I'm going to do a cold start, why not today? Yeah, I got to clean her off and fire her up. Yeah. If ever there's a cold start, this is a pretty good cold start. Now look at that. I haven't even touched the car yet. Look at the snow layer. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you talk about snow. But I noticed places that have more snow than me, of course. But yeah, for me, this is a lot of snow. Anyways, or anywho, I'm going to try to clean this car off and do a cold start in the snow. If my memory, uh, my phone lasts. Hmm. Anyway, let's try this out. Hmm. Let's see. Don't exactly have a tripod, so I rigged something up here. It might work. There you go. Uh huh. Hey, it looks like it'll work. All right. Yep, looks like we're still recording, which is good. Good. Yeah, let's grab that. Now, if you're wondering what I just did, I just cleared the snow off the hood so I could open the hood, basically. Ah. 
and so I could disconnect my battery tender that I have here. And it keeps my battery nice and charged while the car is not in use, basically. Now, I'll set you back up and see if she fires up. I have no idea. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, yeah, it should be interesting. And we're still recording. Good, good. That's right there. Good, good. Yeah, still recording and it runs. Cold start. Yeah. Nineteen sixty nine Cadillac. That's what I'm talking about, huh? Yeah. Yep, he's all snowed up. 
up and runs good. Let's see if I can touch her down and see if I can get a few rams out of her. Heck yeah! That snow does not stop the Cadillac. I would start the 75 up, but eh, it's even more trouble. Well, I could probably start the 75. Hey, we're still rolling. Yeah. Easily this phone always uh, stops on me. Okay, so I got that done. The uh, question is, should I attempt to start the 75 Cadillac? Hmm. No, I just now remembered I got to hook up the side post battery. Uh, yeah, it's going to be even more work. Uh, plus, I don't know how long my camera's going to last. Uh, that's a toughie. Hmm. To start or not to start? That is the question. Hmm. Uh, I have to get my tool set out. Connect the battery. Oh, that's going to be a pain to start. For some reason, the old 69 always starts up easy. I don't know. Why? Eh, just because it's a good old car, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, let's see. Well, for however long this video here lasts, eh, what the heck. I'll try to clear it off and start it. I gotta reconnect the battery. Disconnect the battery tender like I did on this one here. Eh, what the heck? Let's see here. If I can position my shirt slash power uh, Gatorade drink camera stand. So you guys can watch me attempt to work on this beast in the cold. Let me see here. Uh, no, no. Come on. Come on, Gatorade bottle. Cooperate with me here. Uh, it's halfway, but it's it's good. Okay, got my trusty scraper. 
Yeah. Go at it, huh? Still rolling. Okay. I guess it just keeps on going. Now, unlike my 69 Cadillac car over there, pretty much, this one has a hood release inside. 69 on the outside. So, another reason I had to dig into there. Hope the locks aren't frozen. She's locked. <laughs> I have to say, the lock's frozen now, I'm done. Mm -hmm. The locks aren't frozen. I'm not frozen. Oh, we're lucky the locks aren't frozen. And we're in. Darn, darn, darn. Yeah, you two people, she's not budging. Mm. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this thing started today. Mm. Okay. Let me see, are we still rolling? Yep, we're still rolling. Okay, I have to get my tools, connect battery, see if I can do a cold start on this. I just threaded a terminal on just a little bit by hand. 
Maybe I won't have to get my wrench set to snug it. I don't know. This old car has kind of a draw. That's why I got the battery disconnected. Second one started, yes. I don't believe it. I just snugly use my my hand to snugly turn to put the terminal in. See, so this car is a side post, so. Yeah. Pretty much. I just snugly uh, to turn that in there. And she started. Good old faithful 1975 Cadillac Fleetwood Roam. Huh. Started up. Huh. Yeah, the, the term they don't make them like they used to anymore is, yeah, it's a good, this is a good example right here. Starts right up. Took a few turns, but come on, come on. Yeah. I don't believe it. I would show the other vehicles, but those are news. Yeah. I don't like to start, I like to mess with new vehicles, like the van or the truck. Only the classics. Can't believe it. Yep, she comes with like ruby red leather interior and all the fixings. Her 1975. Climate control, six way power seats, AM, FM radio. Yep. Even has footstools on the back of the seats. Yep, yep. Wow. How much do I got going in the tank? I keep a little bit of stand bowl and stuff in her. So once in a while, if I get the urge, I can start it, but that's amazing. Of course, this is the big first big snowstorm for the year for me, so the other snowstorms, yeah, they weren't much of a, you know, I didn't really bother to uh, shovel at all, pretty much, as you can see. Of course, I didn't shovel all the way up. I shoveled part way to the house. But eh, you know. Now if you're noticing, this, is at, this isn't at the usual Beamer Ranch where we got all the cars. This is at my grandparents' house where I live, apart from my dad. So over here, we were only allowed to store a certain amount of cars, but where my dad's at, we can store a whole bunch of cars. So I keep a few of the beasts, you know, here. And I'm pretty pleased uh, as, as anything. Uh, got some of the snow off of them, fired them up. Cold start, uh, mind you, so I'm happy. Hmm. Oh yeah, look at that oil and dirt coming out of there. Beautiful. I don't think that's quite good, but yeah. This one, you know, it's options. It's a Fleetwood also, 1969 Cadillac Fleetwood. Brome also. However, this is like cloth interior, so, but it doesn't have the fancy footstools on the back of the seats. But it's, you know, it's it's got, you know, somewhat the deluxe interior for 69 now. I love these cars because I always feel like they're like time capsules to me. You know, if I want to tap, uh, step back in 1969, 
I ride in my 69 Cadillac. If I want to ride in, if I want to feel like what 1975 felt like, I ride in my 75 over there. So I'm pretty happy about this. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, you know, keep a seat cover on it, keep it all nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. She's fully loaded for 69. But this one has cloth seats, which is interesting. Wow. Yeah, I'm a happy camper, I'd say right about now. Both cars somewhat cleared off, started. Yeah. I don't think you can ask more for that. Let's see if I can get the old 75 to wrap. Because I went with duels on this car and cherry bombs. It's like the 6, uh, 69 over there. Uh, I don't like the way that's set. There we go. Ash, Nikes. Ah, it's not willing if they're wanting to uh, cooperate. Ah, then again, I don't know. There we go. Get a few rats. start I will you too <laughs> yeah hmm and I think that about do me for a beamer and sun garage yes please remember to like tag subscribe um, let's see Dad usually is next to me to tell me what places to subscribe to other ones, but uh, let's see. Um, uh, Scott's Beach Shop, um, uh, a few other ones. He's going to get on me later on about that, but uh, yep, that's it for me at uh, Beamer and Sun Garage. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty happy right about now. Got both my cars started. Hmm. And uh, that's about it. Uh, bye for now. Oh, and thank you. Oh, like, like, tag, share, subscribe. Um, yeah.